So this G has flowers and an umbrella. He doesn't want to get too dark and he's got himself some flowers for his girl. He's like, I can't get too dark. I'm going to get some with these flowers. But, but, if he gets too dark, she won't get any. So he's got his little uh, umbrella. This bro's got a bloody pink umbrella and a hat. Look at this guy. Dude, it's so unmasculine that the umbrella thing, a pink umbrella, is just so unmasculine. I'm gonna shower, it's raining. Is it raining? Hey, is it raining? Is it raining? Is it gonna rain? Raining, rain. Is it gonna rain? Raining. No rain, no? Okay. Raining, raining. <laughs> I'm just shouting. Is it raining? Is it raining? Cause you holding umbrellas, brother. What would you want? Like, of course I don't why love, but relax. You know what I mean? <laughs> this guy's like, what the hell is he saying? <laughs> why am I on camera? You got a pink umbrella, brother. You got a pink umbrella. What are you? You think you're not gonna get on camera? What love? You're a culprit. So I went down to Mindanao, right? Where it's meant to be all the cold bloody killers and stuff. They're all carrying umbrellas, mate. They're all carrying umbrellas. It's like, yeah, we do murder people. We do murder drug dealers, but we also don't want to get too dark. We need to look after our complexion. So I'm like, say what? You're shooting people, you're shooting drug dealers and leaving laminated signs, wrapping heads. You know, there was a drug war here. They were killing all the drug dealers, but they're carrying umbrellas while they're doing it. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. That shit's funny. That's funny, right? Oh, that's so funny. That's my new thing now. When I see a Filipino I'm in the car, I'm just scream, is it raining? Is it gonna rain? Like, why are you carrying an umbrella? Love, how come you're stopping? What's going on? Have you had a, have you had an existential crisis? It's like of, 10 of them. I can't run them. I can't run them all over, right? Well, you could have, could have had Grand Theft Auto, bro. Right? But, a how are you? Oh, I'm with you, I'm with you. Oh, you could have got her, love. You need to got her. Listen, if they have an umbrella, you can get them. Sorry, girl. Sorry, girl. This is the Philippines, bro. Where are you guys from? Yeah. Pampanga, you're Pampangans, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? How old are you? We're from Burbay, Burbay. Yes. Uh, what, are you at school? Hello. <laughs> are you at school? Yes. Why aren't you at school? Uh, what's your school? What's your school? School. What about the center? What are you? Are you supposed to be at school now? Or? Yes. yes. <laughs> so you're, you've sneaked off from school or? No, no, no. Ah, here. Already done. This is me and you. Yeah. Yay! Yay. <laughs> 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 nice to meet you. Alright, guys, take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Uh, back for seconds. What's going on, boys? What's going on? Huh? Huh? Can I ask? Yeah, What's you can your ask YouTube them? channel. Yeah, it's called Barbell Nomad. Do you have a phone? I'll subscribe you. Who's got a phone? Check out the ferry. Hey brother! Uh, check it out. Check it out, bro. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, it's crazy. Everyone's dressed up. I think that's a guy as well. That's a guy. Just up like a ferry. That's hilarious. How are you, love? How are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hi. 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 What happened, love? What happened? They asked for your YouTube because they can't spell it. Oh, and uh, I was like, I'm trying to get quiet because I don't want to be like... Yeah, I was like, that's my fiance. I was like, brother, that's my fiance right there. You know what I mean? And they were like, oh, where's the wedding? It's like, oh, we always see him vlogging around, walking and um, talking to his camera. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's him. Vloggers, brah. 3 p.m. love. I'm Vloggers, brah. Hey, you know, but listen, yeah, look. To be a blogger, I'm gonna be honest with you, right? To be a blogger, like you have to have money because, yeah, dude, like I've just released like 10 videos this week and I have $47, right? So, you know, and these videos are flying to Kenya, flying to India, I'm flying around the world, right? Like spending thousands and thousands of dollars, right? And I made $47. So it's not the best ROI, meaning return on investment, right? Having said that, I'm doing it for fun. I'm doing it because I had cancer. And I'm doing it because I want to leave something behind for my kids and grandkids, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I want to leave a legacy behind so they can know what I was like. See the cakes. Oh, check out Mortal Kombat. 
Hey, Mortal Kombat. How are you? Hey. Hey. How cool is Mortal Kombat? Has six raises, 3,500. Check it out. Yeah, this is 3,500 as well. Bro, so I got six raises, that's 600 pesos, bro. Because I DIY'd, I did it myself, you know what I mean? There you go. Discrimination in the Philippines, mate. That carousel, I would have gone on a romantic carousel with my girl, but you can't be over five foot, and I'm six foot six. So, don't let anyone over five foot on the carousel, mate. There you go. Everyone knows you're six foot six. But you could go on. There might be a new viewer who doesn't know I'm six foot six. Uh, like, you've been claiming 4'11, and we realised you were 4'8 yesterday. No. Well, we measured you, love. I'm happy to measure you right now. Hello. <laughs> What a see you in the Northern Territory. He's wearing a mask, brother. You're wearing a mask, brother? Oh, good. Maybe you won't wear a mask anymore. What a see you in the Northern Territory. People are like, oh, you're so mean, you're so mean. Yeah, but it's probably true. I'm going to Suzuku, Japanese restaurant. All right, so there's, there's a few more restaurants here, right? I'll tell you something, right? Masks, okay? So I was doing chemotherapy. They took my blood cells to zero. My red blood cells and white blood cells to zero. Nothing. You think I was walking around with a mask like a dork? I wasn't, mate. And people are like, you, you could have died. But I didn't, bruh. I didn't die. The only time I wore masks was when they were arresting people in Sydney for not wearing them. And then I wore it on my chin, you know what I mean? Like, come on, mate. Relax. Masks. And then when we were traveling during masks on the plane, but then we took them off to eat, and I was like, well, this is so stupid, mate. This is so bloody stupid, right? We wear masks on a plane, it's pressurized. Like, you're pumping oxygen in. If one of us got it, well, everyone's gonna get it, right? And we're taking our masks off when we eat, or drink. So I was always, like, had a bottle of water in my hand. And I know that annoys people, but it is what it is. I personally don't think masks did anything, mate, to be honest with you. And bro, people were getting arrested and bashed in Sydney. Like, the cops were like, putting people on their asses, putting people down, you know, all this stuff, man. People getting caps and sprayed all over masks, mate. Oh, it was crazy, dude. So check this restaurant. Look how breaky the thing is all stuck together. And, ugh. It's disgusting. Can't even pull the pages apart. It's like someone jizzed on the pages, mate. That's so disgusting. Bro, listen, if you can't keep your menu clean, right, ha how are you gonna keep your kitchen clean? Like, relax, not in there. I know I sound a bit judgmental, but like if their menu's disgusting and stuck together, like someone's jizzed on it, uh, how's, the, how's the kitchen gonna be, bro? You know what I mean? Hey, how are you? Extreme, extreme. Extremely espresso. Oh, that's good. Hello, how are you? I'm a bro. So this guy said to me, I, I, I put this, Song it up in uh, in, in um, Thailand. And he goes, This is the kind of farang that will get thrown off a balcony. No one's throwing me off a balcony, brother. Listen, you think if someone tries to throw me off a balcony, I'm going alone? You think some 60 kilo Thai guy, a 70 kilo Thai gangster's throwing me off a balcony? Relax, take like 10 of them, mate. And two of them would be coming off with me, right? Uh, and I replied to him, put that in the comments, I replied to him, Brother, Stop watching so much K drama. It gives you an overactor of imagination. Hey, these guys get in the YouTube comments. For one, gangsters don't go in the YouTube comments, mate. If you're a gangster, you know in the YouTube comment saying gangster stuff, you know what I mean? Gangsters just shut their mouths, mate. You know what I mean? They don't talk, right? So, yeah. The opposite to Navy SEALs in America who don't stop talking, you know what I mean? Every mission, everything they've ever done, or, or a Green Beret, there's this guy, he was like a Navy SEAL. He went to the French Foreign Legion and he's got a YouTube channel. I like him, I watch him, right? But man started talking on YouTube. The Legion just kicked him out, bro. The Legion's like, you're done, bro. You're out, you're in jail, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, what's. How do you know if someone's a Navy SEAL or a vegan? They'll tell you. They'll tell you, bro. Just are you saying now you weren't born in a mango tree? No, yeah. You were, you were born in a mango tree, love? We had a house. In a mango tree, you were born at home in a mango tree, mate. 
Turn around, love. Turn around. Talk to me. It's just like a flood in here. The shower room is, this place is flooded. Lovey, turn around and talk to me. Love, turn around and talk to me. Well, if we lived in a mango tree, there'd be no flooding, right? There's no flooding in a mango tree, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're in Angeli City. Jessica doesn't want to walk, so we're going to take the car. So here we are, Angeli City, bro. Valentine's Day, 2024. We're heading to the malls, Valentine's Day lunch. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm not gonna wear a singlet, I'm gonna put a t-shirt on, so. There you go. So Jess wants to go to Bagyao, like where strawberries come from. Bagyao, Bagyao, whatever. But, um, I'm a bit tired, mate. I've just, last few months I've been to Thailand, Cambodia, Kenya, India, Philippines, I'm just tired, dude. I'm just tired. Check out the club. So this used to say, right, the slogan here used to should be American Air Base. And it used to say, stop, slow down and live. That's what it used to say. Stop, slow down and live. It was very funny, mate. I know very funny. What about this bougie mall? This looks pretty bougie, this mall. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, well. It's a hang guys, free parking. So yeah, look at these, all these jitneys, mate. I've never seen more jitneys in my life. Okay. If someone who hates Pampanga, you kind of like Pampanga. I don't. But it's a good mall. It's everything's close. There's swimming pools. It's yeah, it's just accessible. You know. Ethernet's been really bad in the hotel. They put us on third floor. I said, bro, put us on the second floor because we stayed there before. Ethernet's good in the second floor. Anyway, they put us on the third floor and I can't work. Even Grammarly, I can't even open Grammarly. And I'm a bit of a spaz when I write. Like, my writing, like, it's not grammatically 100%. I'm a bit of a grammar Nazi, if you want. Like, I, I need my grammar to be 100% when I write documents. Like, you know what I mean? Like, someone who writes a document and it's just like, this guy's got six year old grammar, you know? Not that I have that, but. Like it could look that way, so I use Grammarly. Oh, she's so saying I do have. You saying I do have six-year-old grammar, bro? Everyone in, in my company, if you don't use Grammarly, it's the same as stealing. I'm like, listen, if you worked in a shop and you stole from the till, that's the same as not using Grammarly. Also, my company, everyone has to work online. I don't like anyone working on their desktops because if the desktop goes down, I lose two days of work. You know, so I don't like losing work. Like that's a good thing. Always work in the cloud, mate. Always work in the cloud. You know, what if the internet goes down? Well, the internet will come back, right? Unless China invades Taiwan, the internet should come back. You know what I mean? And World War Three breaks out, the internet should come back. We should be right. Check it out, bruh. Foreigners. You know, everywhere you go, you see Chinese, right? But in Kenya, I didn't see any Chinese, mate. I didn't see anyone really except Kenyans. What's going on here, bruh? What are you like? Right in the traffic. Middle brother. Check it out. Jimmy's bra. So I was hanging out with these guys, right? This family. And I was being zesty, bro. I was taking a jitney. Because I was like, oh, I'm a bit zesty. I'll post something in this jitney, you know. And the girl was like, oh, what are you poor? Like, why are you taking a jitney? You got no money, you got no car? I was like, bro, I have no car. You're right, I have no car in the Philippines. I have no car. He was like, well, I've got a Hyundai. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. He's showing me pictures of his Hyundai. And then someone said, oh, he, I think he has a car as well. Oh, he goes, what car do you have? I was like, I'd rather not say, I'd rather not say. He goes, oh, is it as good as my Hyundai? And she goes, yeah, he's got a BMW X5. It's like a $125,000 car. And he's like, oh, oh, well, if you have a $125,000 car, why are you taking a jeepney? I'm like, cause I'm zesty, brother. Cause I'm zesty. Right? I'm zesty and I like to shape jitneys. I like to be, like, when you have mates, your mates, and they've all got a little bit of money. My, my mates are PhDs, company owners. They all try and play up how poor, how poor they are, how they slum. They don't like, oh yeah, I stayed at the Ritz for $300. They were like, they'll say, oh, I was in this hotel and it was a two star in Indonesia and there was no flushing toilet. And that's what they'll tell you about. Anyway, so, so when you have mates, right, you're like, oh, look at me, look how zesty. I stayed in this really, like, you know, povo poverty accommodation you know and people kind of brag a bit about how povo they stay 
So really rich people, they don't go, oh, you're saving a six hundred dollar place. They don't really do that, bro. They they're more like they're more like bragging about that poverty, you know, like oh, I was. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's kind of how it works, right? Valet. So we really like to shop. When we're roughing it, no, you're not gonna get. When we're roughing it, we really like to show that we're roughing it. Like we really like to be like, hey, I'm here, I'm in a $25 hotel, or I'm in a $7 hotel, like, you know, and there's no flushing toilet. We really, really, really like to like push that out, you know? Like, um, like when I got my office here, right? I was mopping the floors, right? And posting on online, I was mopping the floors. And people are like, why are you posting online, you're mopping the floors? But rich people aren't saying that because they get it, mate. Rich people get it. Ah, oh, he's trying to, he's trying to seem like he's, you know, like oh, I'm mopping the floors. Yeah, down to earth person. He's mopping the floors. You know what I mean? So rich people brag with, like, academia. Like rich people, they're not like you. Rich people don't go, oh, I've got a Ferrari, blah blah. They don't do that, but well, some do. Andrew Tate kind of new money do it, right? But, um, but, but a lot of them will brag like uh, through academia and philanthropic endeavors so I'm a financial planner and I was a senior financial planner in one of the largest banking networks so I've had some super wealthy clients right I've mixed with some of the who's who of like you know wealthy Australians right and that's how they that's how we drag as Australians we brag like through you know through philanthropic endeavors academia and roughing it yeah okay so I lied I'm not paying attention on the Valentine's Day I'm staying in the white beater singler so there you go so we call these singlets wife beaters because people who wear them uh, are wife beaters, but bro, I'm 9XL, nothing fits me, you know what I mean? I need to do some weight, what can I do? Well, what I could do is eat healthy and exercise, but I'm not doing that. I am genetically big as well, like I'm genetically very big, I'm 6'6". Six, six. It's a big guy. The other cakes, bro. I love this French bakery. I've been, I've been coming to this French bakery for years. I love this place. Oh, hey, love. Oh, it's a ninja. Let's go then. What's happening, love? Jerry's, you want to eat Jerry's? Yeah, we can if you want. All right. Let's look at the menu first and see if there's something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went there the first time, I had a really good experience, got the fish. Went there the second time, got fish, and I had a really bad experience. I don't know, it's a bit touch and go, mate. It's a bit touch and go with I think Asian food. I ordered a different thing because they have it steamed, they have it fried. Yeah, fried was better. All right, fried, let's get the fried one then. Let's go get the fried one. Maybe we've got the steam one. Oh, it's disgusting. Gilligan's. Okay. Filipino Gilligan's. Say it again, love. Say it again. Gilligan's. Gilligan's. Gilligan's, mate. Gilligan's. Look at that. So I'm gonna go to Gilligan's and teach you how to say Gilligan's. Hey, wow. Thanks, girl. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. There you go. Mm -hmm. The Filipino food. Yeah, that's good, right? That's good. I'm getting fish. Yeah, that's right. Twenty dollars, right? So we're not eating here. So hello. Hey. Hello. Thank you so much, sir. Yes. So we looked at the menu, but. I don't know, bro. It was like I, I was gonna order the fish, but Jessica was like, I don't know, I don't know. What happened? I was like, yeah, I was gonna order the fish, bro. So, but Jessica actually didn't want to eat it. Well, like, why do you want to eat it? No, I just saw it. I thought it looks like Jerry's. I didn't like it. It's like what? Like Jerry's, but I didn't like anything. Like Filipino food, like ah, oh, it's not the best. Like that car car beef. That is disgusting, mate. I'm telling you. K A R E. K whatever that is, that is disgusting, brother. That's disgusting. I had it once. I was like, Ugh. I'm not wanting that again. So, yeah, I was up for the fried bangladesh, but I don't know, bro. I don't know. That's the story. How are you, love? I'm supposed you want to eat there, love. They had sweet and sour pork, which I thought might be right. In America, it's called Kenny Rogers. Well, obviously, yeah, do, bro. Obviously, it's not Filipino, right? But it's a bit weird, bro. It's a bit weird. Like, it was a bit weird. Like, it was a bit like, ugh. I wasn't a fan, mate, to be honest with you. Kenny Rogers. Like, not a fan. Sorry. We can eat it. 
Sabaro. So again, that is unreal, mate. The franchise, the concept, but they heat the food up and it's not heat up in the middle. And uh, like this, uh, the way they pull things off, mate, they don't really pull things off. What about Shakey's love, Shakey's? Oh, it's pizza, it's pizza, we had pizza last night. Kenny Rogers, bro, relax, relax, mate. We're not in the deep south, mate. We're not in Alabama, mate, you know what I mean? Relax, brother. Maybe I was in Alabama, I'd eat it, Kenny Rogers, or Virginia, but relax, bro. Go to McDonald's, you ask for a Coke, and they're like, oh, uh, we don't have Coke, we just have iced tea. I'm like, brother, you have iced tea? You think I want iced tea and popcorn? And a movie? Uh, no, sorry, no, I don't want that, bro. <laughs> Ice tea, bro. What about this? Yeah, I don't know, mate. I'm not sure. Good bow. So I'm just gonna order the bangers, bro. I don't really mind where I go, to be honest with you. Call you Jay. There you go. Love, look at this place. This, love, this place is good, love. Hey, how are you? Hello. Hi, sir. Hello. 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 We're going to call you Jay, brother, like brokies. Hello, how are you? Two for Kuya J, brother. Kuya means brother. So when you shout Kuya, Kuya means brother. In, in, actually means older brother. And Tatoi means younger brother. So say you're in a restaurant and the Filipinos will be ignoring you, right? You just shout Kuya, Kuya, and they'll come, they'll come. Okay, so this is half the price. That's why I just want to leave. It's all the other place overpriced, right? Anyway, look. It, it doesn't matter where we eat, I can afford to eat anywhere, but I do like the fact she doesn't even pay the bill. But I do like the fact she doesn't want us to spend too much money. Um, it is sweet of her, but it would have been fine to eat the other one. But she's a sweet person. Look, she was born in a mango tree. You know, like she... Uh... Love, were you born in a mango tree? Uh-huh, I am. She doesn't like me bringing it up, but she was born in a mango tree. Okay, love. Yeah, Bangladesh brother. Bangladesh, Bangladesh brother. I'll show you Bangladesh, I'll show you some Filipino food. We don't need to do Filipino food because it tastes like... Ugh. But today we are, mate. Today we are. And they have a picture of for 75 Whatever you want to order, love, just order. 75. You want a picture? Love, whatever you no, want. you need a drink, love. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Filipinos. <laughs> like, we just order, bro. We just order. Like Filipinos, like we really look at the menu, they tell you, oh, it's this much, this much. Relax, brother, relax. How are ya? Yes, Ronell. How are ya? Kuya Ronell. Yes, sir. I'm good, sir. Yeah. The guy that took order had a red pen and he wrote on a piece of paper. Uh, it doesn't fill me with confidence, mate. You know what I mean? What do you mean? You think he's gonna get an order wrong? I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I think he's gonna get an order wrong. This tastes like a young man. What's that? It's I can't see anyone because you put me, you hid me next to this thing. You hid me behind this thing, love. So I can't see anyone, I can't cheese miss, which is gossip. Can't talk smack about anyone. Can't look at that food. Dude, can we, they'll take can we me move for that. Side or not? They'll take me for that. Yeah. No, no, let's stay here. I like it. Milk, banana. Halo halo is a pain in the ass. Halo halo is a pain in the ass. You have to mix it. It's just ice, man. Bro, it's just ice. It's ice with a bit of banana. You know what I mean? Ugh. Right? These boys. I think they're Korean. Yeah, Korea. Okay, drunk. Guys, here we are. I got a Coke. And just has got a whatever that pagan thing is. What is it? What is it? When's a fruit shake ever been good, bro? Ever. Come on, bro. Come on. So the owner of this place is a Filipino actor. Jericho. Who are you, Well, Jericho, that tastes like toilet water, right? And that milkshake is disgusting. But the color's been fine, Jericho. So just so you know, 
thanks. But thanks, thanks for your contribution. In your mouth of it, rich Filipinos, they always threaten to, like, you're gonna catch a case, right? It was like, oh, you're gonna catch a case, you're gonna catch a case. But bro, we're Australians, mate. We're not worried about catching a case. We've got lawyers as well, bro. You know what I mean? Like, so Filipinos always go around threatening, I'm gonna sue you, I'm gonna sue you. And you're like, relax, bro, relax. Because, like, we've got lawyers too, you know what I mean? But I'm sure rich Filipinos would dread to sue poor Filipinos. They'd be like, oh, trembling, trembling, you know? Oh, they're so rich, they've got lawyers. Like, right now, rich Filipinos would threaten to sue poor Filipinos all the time. That was just their power. But that girl, bro, that girl on the bus was threatening to sue me. You were not going to be allowed in. I'm going to your embassy. How about I take your face and I plaster it all over YouTube and I show one you're a racist, mate. So Jessica basically uh, vomited on the bus and this girl went absolutely ham, mate. Went absolutely lost it. Anyway. Well, your drink looks like vomit, so it's, supposed to, it's, it's probably appropriate. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> all right, please go. Is that, it looks like soup, bro. What is that? Thanks. Garlic rice wine, doctor. Thanks. That's for one, though. Hey, Jericho, are you taking the piss? Thanks, mate. Jericho, thanks. That is not a big fish, bro. <laughs> like, listen, Jericho, stop, bro. Stop. Look at my hand compared to the fish. Jericho, Jericho, stop, bro. Stop. Stop, bro. Jericho, come on, bro. What's going on? There's Jericho. He's Jericho in his restaurant. He's kind of handsome. He looks zesty, but he's kind of handsome. But, like, he's mixed, right? He's not, he's not full for the pinot. Yeah, he's full Come on, Jericho, come on, bro. Look at the size of the fish. Solo, what are you feeding? The Oompa Loompas from, um, from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? That's not big enough fish, bro. Sorry. That's Solo, that's for one person. Yeah, a pygmy in the African jungle. I have to say, the fish tastes pretty good, but Jericho, you stiff me on the size, but the fish tastes it, tastes good. These things taste great as well, and dipping them. And says that rice is good, so all the food has been really good here. The water tastes like toilet water. Shit. That tastes terrible, but the food has been really good. So Koya Jay. For Koya Jericho. It's a bit zesty, but yeah. He's a handsome guy as well. Jericho, this fish is bloody fantastic, mate. All it's been given. This fish is fantastic. It tastes unreal. Like, I don't know, the fish with the vinegar tastes unreal. It tastes so good. So all is forgiven, Jericho. The small portion is forgiven because it's so tasty. So you get a pass, okay? It's good. Well, thank you for bringing me here, Jessica. I really feel like I didn't give Filipino food a fair go. And now I've eaten a clear J. I'm really a big advocate for Filipino food. <laughs> Everyone gives Filipino food a hard time. Kuya J, Kuya, what's his name? Jericho. Jericho, brother. Listen, Bangus is a little small, brother. Bangus is a little small, but it's very tasty. But you deep fried it, brother. Of course, it's tasty. You know, the vinegar. I was putting some tomatoes on the side, like Jerry's. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I don't want to eat pork. I'm with the Jews, mate. I I spent a year in Israel, man. I don't really like pork, you know what I mean? But, uh, the Jews can't be wrong, bro. The Jews can't be wrong. Like, I don't think the Jews are wrong, bro. You know what I mean? Like, they don't eat pork. Probably for a reason, you know what I mean? What are you saying, love? You're saying Queer J is not the owner? I think he's the ambassador. So Queer J is apparently not the owner, she's saying. I don't know. Is Queer J the owner or not? He's not the owner. He's the ambassador. Is it saying here that it's owned by Nobel U? Same by a Chinese guy, bro. Yeah, that will make sense. Yep. Okay. Hey. Queer J. Yeah, I'm not a fan, mate. I'm not a fan. What? What's that? Jericho standing. That's who? Jericho. What are you talking about? He's standing up there. He's got a standing. That's Jericho, is it? 
Mm. Right, there you go. So, what happens when an actor opens a restaurant? Nothing good, bro. Nothing good. <laughs> Here we go. You might be a good actor, but the banger's a little small, bro. The banger's a little small. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you, you need to put in that hyper small, Westerners don't order. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Some advice. Me to you, Bella. Love, I'll go to IMAX and check the song. I just want to see it is 3 p.m. Okay, I haven't had a change of it, okay? okay I'll go to oh, bye. There's Captain America. Let's go high test Captain America. On a stand, brother. Let's see, let's see. It's me and Captain America. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, I'm a bit taller, I think. Yeah. A bit taller. There you go. Marvel movies, the IMAX, right? There's a Marvel movie on. Oh, brother, there's a Marvel movie on. How good's that? A Marvel movie on IMAX. Madam Webb. That's uh, the guy from uh, Miami Vice's daughter. Don Johnson's daughter. I don't know her name, but she was Johnson. But uh, I think that oh, was Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson, yeah. So it's Don Johnson's daughter from Miami Vice. Bro, do you not know who Miami Vice is? You need to Google that, mate. Miami Vice. He's a, he, Don Johnson was like the o, original OG, right? Now, he's a bit before my time, but I still know who he is. Look at the dragon, bro. They just go full. They just go full on, mate, with these like dragons and stuff. How cool is this? How cool is this, mate? I'm all here. It's such an experience. Such a fun experience. Cool, bro. It's so cool. Look at this. How cool is it? Yeah, malls in the Philippines just kill it, mate. It's absolutely killer. Like the uh, electronic section. So as everyone's standing around, getting ready to pull you in. So you need a phone case. So you need a phone. You need a blah, blah, blah. You want to buy this phone. I got a game. I wonder if they sell PlayStation 5s. I've got two PlayStation 5s in Australia. One for me, one for my son. One upstairs, one downstairs. And I've got, we've got an Xbox One. And then I've got a PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation. Um, um, so I've got a PlayStation 4 and I've got a place, uh, like an Xbox, whatever, 360 or whatever. Like the one for the latest one. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? Uh -huh. I'm oh, just looking around. Just looking. Hi, how are you? Hello. Extreme games. Let's see. Let's see if they sell PS5s. Random sh. Oh, so you're looking for a power bank? Uh, no, bro. I, no, not really. You know, they just shout random sh. It's crazy. I'll tell you this, right? Being here and being able to speak to Galog is I having a superpower because the Filipinos don't understand I can speak Tagalog, right? And I can't speak it well, but I can understand it, right? I can speak little words. I say, I'll come start, I'm not gonna go, I'm more, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I can understand all, pretty much all of it, right? Like I can watch a movie and I kind of understand the gist of it. So when they start saying, oh, he's really tall or he's really fat, I understand what they're saying, mate, you know what I mean? So it's kind of cool <laughs> because they call me fat, I'll be like, bro, I'm not fat, you know what I mean? Like, they're like, oh, oh, you understand Tagalog, you understand Tagalog. I was like, yeah, brother, I understand Tagalog, Kuya. The startup market. Let's check it out. Oh, okay, so what's here? Hey, how are you? I don't know what that is. Cakes. That girl with a short skirt doesn't look like she's in a startup, bro. She looks like she's been doing it for a while. <laughs> Bathroom, right? And uh, there's a dad there, and the kid was screaming, right? You change your kid's nappy. And our people are getting a bit pissed at him, like, oh, your kid, your kid. I'm like, bro, listen, like, he can't help it, his kid's screaming, you know what I mean? Like, and it's good his kid's screaming, because guess what? When your kid's screaming, it means that your kid's alive, right? It's when your kid's not making a noise that I worry about them, so. Like for me, a screaming kid is a good sound because it means the kid's healthy, right? Uh, that's just how I see it. Anyway, mate, like I just said to him, blah, blah. Don't worry, like people getting annoyed at you and stuff because your kid's screaming. You got a kid, bro. That's a blessing from God, you know what I mean? Like, don't worry if it's screaming, mate. You know, I like, just, just work through it, bro. You know what I mean? That's good, good dad. You're a good dad, mate. He was in there in the dad's change, in the men's change room. They've got like a, a changing thing. He was changing his baby. Oh, what a top, what a top G, mate. What a top G, changing his baby, you know what I mean? 
Like, uh, when uh, Samson was born, his mum had a cesarean. She couldn't, couldn't really do anything. I changed all his nappies and I did all that stuff, mate. You know what I mean? I sat to Samson when he, because he, he's big now, like he's a wrestler and I'm a wrestler. He's always like, Dad, I'm going to beat you soon. I was like, bro, I changed your nappies, love. Just relax, mate. Relax. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, anyway. So, I think a lot of love gets exchanged when you care for a kid like that. You change his nappies, you look after it, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, once when his mum had breast milk, I was, I didn't know if it was too hot or whatever, so I changed the best breast milk. So I didn't want to give him hot breast milk. When you got a kid, mate, it's com everything's completely selfless when you got a kid. It's like, it's, you're just going to do anything to protect that kid, mate. I would like, rather lose my arms than lose my son, you know what I mean? Like, he's such a part of me, you know? Well, I love my son so much. The telco, because I'm in this room, the internet's terrible. And I can't, I've got to work at all right financial plans. And you've got to do a lot of stock market research and like find out what kind of stocks that that fund is holding. Like, you know, you've got to look at the, the, like the super fund. And then I look at the funds that the super fund holds and then the underlying stocks that the fund holds. So there's a lot of research, you know, and I say to the clients, look, this is where your super fund, your pension fund invests. This is the managed funds they invest with. And this is a list of stocks that those managed funds invest with. It's like a very transparent process, right? But obviously you need the internet to do it. You know, it takes a couple of days, bro. It takes a couple of days to do it. a lot of research. And then I put together a portfolio and I'll make a recommendation. Oh, I think this will be a better portfolio for these reasons based on your goals and objectives. So, okay, I kind of have the job goes. But really hard to do when the internet's not good. So, um, so I'm going to Telstra, not Telstra Globe, it's like Telstra. And I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna get like uh, internet, like uh, unlimited internet for seven days. I, I carry this like Huawei pad. It looks like, I like an iPad, like half an iPad. It's actually a phone, bro. It's actually a phone, a massive phone. So I carry that around and we tether it. That's what we do in Thailand. That's why we're in Thailand all the time because we always have internet in Thailand, right? So it's really good. Check us out. I might need some archery, bro. Archery would be fun, right? It's a big phone. I need a SIM card. We can buy one here. Oh, come back later. Come back later. Okay. Let's come back later. Thank you, thank you. So we're in the IMAX. We're heading to see Madame Web. Madame Web, right? It's Marvel, isn't it? I've got no idea what it is. Some kind of Spider-Man ripoff, whatever. I don't know. I've got no idea. We'll go check it out. So what happens. Check it out. Bougie. So bougie. Jessica's like, oh, the tickets are $25 or $20. I'm like, bro, in my country, the tickets are like 80 bucks, mate, for IMAX, you know, or 50 bucks. So just relax, mate. Relax. It's so cheap. We've got a pastry chef. Hey. He looks good, bro. He's fully into it. So I'm not drinking brokey uh, cinema coke. Hey. Okay. We call hedge in finance. This is what we call hedging our bets, right? So I've got two cans of coke with ice, which cost me 180 pesos. It's probably more than the cinema coke's gonna cost, right? But this is from a can. It's not from their dispensary. And it's very likely that dispensary's flat or whatever, blah, blah. So I'm gonna get a Coke from there as well and some popcorn. And then, you know, I've hedged my bets, mate. So I'm gonna spend $25 on a movie. I want Coca-Cola, you know what I mean? All these brownies, right? I've got popcorn. I've got a couple of Cokes. Cause, brother, I don't subscribe to that cinema Coke. Blah. Unless you're McDonald's, like in America. They do it well, but here in the Philippines, Dad's Coke's mainly flat, brother. The like, Coke's nearly always flat. Sometimes they don't have Coke. They go, oh, we should have tried, oh, we should have put the, the gas bottle on. You go, the Coke's flat, and they go, oh, we should put the gas bottle on. Oh, whose responsibility is that, you know? So I just don't mess around, man. Let's get cans, bro. Let's get cans. Popcorn's all right, but yeah. So this popcorn, you give your cheese sauce, you just put the cheese sauce in. That's what you do. So you go. So we bought these tickets. I think they're like $25 each. And we got like, um, we got like free nuggets and waters and it's bougie, brother, like 25 bucks, right? It's a normal cinema ticket in Australia. This is IMAX, bro. This is IMAX. Uh, I'm not sure it's 3D or not, but it's IMAX. So yeah. Philippines, brother. So this is the, uh, this is the mall. Valentine's Day. I'll be honest with you, right? I really miss India. Like, I was only here for a few days, but that place is awesome, mate. A lot of traffic, but man, like, the food was so good. The people were so friendly. Like, I really love that place. I'm definitely going back to India. It's just like such a great place, you know what I mean? Yeah, movie time. Popcorn drinks, Jessica's got all the stuff.
bro this is the imax check it out it's huge see how big it is imax is massive mate this is how they roll in the philippines brother they um they basically put this cheese sauce into the thing these two bro just just mix it and put that one in one, yeah. yeah so put the cheese sauce in and then you've got to kind of shake it you should hold upside down like then you want to dig a hole in the middle This is the cheese sauce extravaganza, mate. It's the Should cinema. I put the other one? What's that? Should I put the other one? Yeah, for sure, brother. Put it on the other side. Well, guys, please subscribe, share if you like, and hit the <laughs> notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs. And see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.